So hey, welcome to Top Tech People, and today we're going to show you how to remove the green screen in Adobe Premiere Pro. Okay, so first things first, you want to go ahead and open Adobe Premiere Pro and get your video files ready and your uh, the actual image or video that you'll be replacing your green screen with. So I'm just going to go ahead and grab that file wherever I may have put it. Okay, here it is. Grab our file and drag it in. Okay, you see I drop it right into the sequence there. Um, okay, here is our green screen. Now I'm just going to double check the file, make sure this is the right one. Yep, here it is. So the tool we'll be using today is already embedded into Premiere Pro, which is the great thing. So it's you're gonna head it over to uh, you're gonna head over to Effects. Click on Effects. What's in Effects? You're gonna hit the search bar, and we're gonna look for a tool called Ultra Key. Once you see Ultra Key, you're gonna drag that effect into the video file. Now, once in the video file, you'll see that it turns purple. The FX. Then you're going to go into the effects controls. Once in effects controls, you're going to look for the eyedropper tool under key color. Now, once you're under key color, you're going to select the part of the video that is either the brightest or the darkest. Uh, depending on your selection, it kind of shows you what will be removed. As you can see, I just clicked and it is gone. It is all black. Now that it's all black, it's very important that you move the first video file over into V2. V2 allows you to put another layer now behind your actual image. So I'm going to go ahead and grab that file. And this one I'm actually going to do a video folder, uh, a video file, which I grabbed off of uh, from some of my royalty free videos in uh, Motion Array. So as you can see now, he has a whole entire city behind him. And I'm going to play that just so you can see what it looks like. Okay, there you have it. That's how you move the green screen from your video file using Adobe Premiere Pro. And make sure you're subscribed because the next video, I'm probably going to do how to sync the audio and video file uh, when you're recording it separately like I am now. Oh, <laughs>